，来这边跟大家，我给大家继续说上，代表的信息里面第三批的信息。Brothers and sisters, we're going to continue meditating on this message entitled、uh, "Related to David: Toughening a Great Life." 跟他讲到代表伟大生命的磨练。Toughening a Great Life. 头一批的信息，我讲一个真正重要问题。On the first message, I talk about one important problem. David, pui, I say, pui, pui, did, shall shun the king son. Was David qualified to be chosen by the Lord or not? Then the answer is, pui, did. Our answer was, yes, he was qualified. Because there are two very important reasons. For main two important reasons. David is a guy who is in the inside and the outside of the world is equal. David was someone whose inner being matched his outer appearance. He's a person who is transparent. Another, David is a person who 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 is a person That he's good at playing harp. That he was a brave warrior. He speaks very well. He was a fine-looking man. 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 He was a fine-looking It was a story where he had to face the giant Goliath. Let's just take a few verses to see what David was like. It was a story where he had to face the giant Goliath. Let's just take a few verses to see what David was like. It was a story where he had to face the giant Goliath. Let's just take a few verses to see what David was like. It was a story where he had to face the giant Goliath. Let's just take a few verses to see what David was like. It was a story where he had to face the giant Goliath. Let's just take a few verses to see what David was like. David, a young child, yet as he went out, he was able to kill this giant. Look at the scripture. David was a young child, yet as he went out, he was able to kill this giant. Look at the scripture. David, a young child, yet as he went out, he was able to kill this giant. Look at the scripture. David, a young child, yet as he went out, he was able to kill this giant. Look at the scripture. David, a young child, yet as he went out, he was able to kill this giant. Look at the scripture. David, a young child, yet as he went out, he was able to kill this giant. Look at the scripture. David, a young child, yet as he went out, he was able to kill this giant. Look at the scripture. David, a young child, yet as he went out, he was able to kill this giant. Look at the scripture. David, a young child, yet as he went out, he was able to kill this giant. Look at the scripture. David, a young child, yet as he went out, he was able to kill this giant. Look at the scripture. David, a young child, yet as he went out, he was 对一个高摇人，变成一个全国嘅英雄。He started as a shepherd, but later on he became a hero of the nation. 但这段时间真扎短。At this point, it was quite short. 因为无罗姑，大笔在做苏罗一生第一道嘅敌人。Because after right after that, he became the、uh, worst enemy of、uh, King Saul. 苏罗用了十万年嘅时间去接这个大位，去抬这个大位。Saul made use of more than ten years wanting to kill, and he was pursuing David all the time. 这十万年中间是。And that more than ten years was the most difficult time in the life of David. Is David's life more than ten years difficult? It was also the time when he did experience a lot of testings and trials. Is David's life more than ten years difficult? It was also the time when he did experience a lot of testings and trials. Is David's life more than ten years difficult? It was also the time when he did experience a lot of testings and trials. Is David's life more than ten years difficult? It was also the time when he did experience a lot of testings and trials. Is David's life more than ten years difficult? It was also the time when he did experience a lot of testings and trials. Is David's life more than ten years difficult? It was also the time when he did experience a lot of testings and trials. Is David's life more than ten years difficult? It was also the time when he did experience a lot of testings and trials. Is David's life more than ten years difficult? It was also the time when he did experience a lot of testings and trials. Is David's life more than ten years difficult? It was also the time when he did experience a lot of testings and trials. Is David's life more than ten years difficult? It was also the time God used of、uh, more than ten years to train this person, David. And the Chinese has this saying. This is Meng Zi who said it. As said by Meng Zi. He said, "The Lord will make the great men of the earth to suffer, and the great men of the earth will be crushed by the sword." Whenever heaven wants to give a man some great assignment, it will first refine the man's willpower, allow him to experience fatigue, hunger, and suffering, turning everything against him. He does this to test his will, firm up his disposition, and develop his skills. This is when God wants to give a person a very important assignment. This is when God wants to give a person a very important assignment. God wants to give a person a very important assignment. God wants to give a person a very important assignment. God wants to give a person a very important assignment. God wants to give a person a very important assignment. God wants to give a person a very important assignment. God wants to give a person a very important assignment. God wants to give a person a very important assignment. God wants to give a person a very important assignment. God wants to give a person a very important assignment. God wants to give a person a very important assignment. God wants to give a person a very important assignment. God wants to give a person a very important assignment. God wants to give a person a very important assignment. God wants to give a person a very important assignment. God wants to give a person a very important assignment. God wants to give a person a very important assignment. God wants to give a person a very important assignment. God wants to give a person a very important assignment. God wants to give a person a very important assignment. God wants to give a person a very important assignment. God wants to give a person a very important assignment. God wants to give a person a very important assignment. God wants to give a person a very important assignment. God wants to give a person a very important assignment. God wants to give a person a very important assignment. God wants to give a person a very important assignment. God wants to give a person a very important assignment. God wants to give a person a very important assignment. God wants to give a person a very important assignment. God wants to give a person a very important assignment. God wants to give a person a very important assignment. God wants to give a person a very important assignment. God wants to give a person a very important assignment. God wants to give a person a very important assignment. God wants to give a person a very important assignment. God wants to give a person a very important assignment. God wants to give a person a very important assignment. God wants to give a person a very important assignment. God wants to give a person a very important assignment. God wants to give a person a very important assignment. God wants to give a person a very important assignment. God wants to give a person a very important assignment. God wants to give a person a very important assignment. God wants to give a person a very important assignment. God wants to give a person a very important assignment. God wants to give a person a very important assignment. God wants to give a person a very important assignment. God wants to give a person a very important assignment. God wants to give a person a very important assignment. God wants to give a person a very important assignment. God wants to give a person a very important assignment. God wants to give a person a very important assignment. God wants to give a person a very important assignment. God wants to give a person a very important assignment. God wants to give a person a very important
It shows us how God trains this person. And how did God do that? God put four different uh, human relationships on, on issues with him. Why did he do so? Because the best way to refine a man is through human relationships. And you, this has always been related to human relationships. Just like, for example, when I was still studying in seminary in Hong Kong. And you know that the space in Hong Kong is very limited. In a very small room. Probably you have uh, two beds. Or probably three beds. But then each bed will not be single deck. Each bed instead would actually have the three decks. So probably in a room there could be six persons. In a room that's a little bit bigger would have nine persons. But let me tell you, for nine persons to sleep in one the same room, there would be a lot of lessons to be learned. Just like in the morning when you need to go to the bathroom, it is actually a very good training in itself. If you are not uh, pers- persevering enough, surely you will have a lot of quarrels with people. You don't understand why some people, whenever they enter the bathroom, they refuse to come out. They finish everything in the bathroom. They actually have read the newspaper. It's very, very comfortable for them. However, one thing that they forgot is behind them, there are eight persons waiting. So consequently, in those four years, you have to learn to bear with each other and also to be humble. Sometimes, because of that, you also have fights. Yes, there are. And even the seminary students, they do have fights because of that bathroom. And suddenly I remember a verse in the Bible. And as iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens another. In our relationships, it's one we sharpen each other. And the best training in that relationship is because there are issues in it. And after David defeated Goliath, and God put David in four different human relationship situations. First one, God put David under the control of King Saul and he was to serve him. As what? It was intended so that David would learn the lesson of submission. That he need to learn the lesson of humility. And after David defeated Goliath, Saul kept uh, David for himself. He didn't allow him to go back home. Chapter 18, verse 5. It says, Whatever Saul sent him to do, David did it so successfully that Saul gave him a high rank in the army. This pleased all the people and Saul's officers as well. What we can see from here is that David was very faithful in serving Saul. And he did it very well. At that very moment, uh, even King Saul was very pleased with this man, David. And that family of David, the whole family of his, was ser- were serving under King Saul. And we, the Chinese, have this uh, saying, One mountain cannot hide two tigers, and one nation cannot have two kings. That is, the king cannot face another king. Because whenever kings face each other, they fight. It wasn't very easy for David to be serving under Saul. Because many, many years before that, 
就做犹太人嘅王。David was already anointed under the prophet Samuel that he would be the king of the Jews。你被家己制啊！我将那是带取代那这个扫罗做王嘅犹太人嘅王。And David knew for himself that one day he would take that position from King Saul and he would be the king over the nation。你小哥咪 ？In case this is David。Let's assume, let's say you are David. That you yourself know that God doesn't want this man anymore. That you are all ready to take that position. Are you willing still to listen to this guy? Simply put, you know that your boss is one will soon be gone. That you are actually taking over his position. You will still follow his instructions. It's very difficult for you to submit to someone unless this person is something that's worthy for you to respect and to submit. Otherwise, it's going to be very difficult. And the Bible says as wives we have to be submissive to our husbands. Wives, is it easy to submit to your husbands? Yes, submission is very difficult. Especially, if your gifts and your talents are more than what your husband possesses. For you to submit to your、um, dumb, stupid husband, it's easy, indeed not easy. So, so wives, sisters, if you are still single, let me encourage you with one thing. Marry someone you truly respect and admire from the heart. Because if it is so, then you will find it easier to submit to your husband. And why? Husbands. Let me also admonish you with one thing. If you are still single. And after, if you are already married, then you don't listen to this anymore, because it's no longer your portion. If you are still single, what kind of wife do you want?、Uh, two things that you ought to remember. Very important two matters. There are two guidelines. First is the personality, and second is the ability. This is the. 誒，問你即係做三篤嘅近朝當間，我及你生生呢只嘅先生。And oh no, this is a message I, I did. This is a message I'm going to deliver. Joseph Santos wedding. 女嘅有兩樣物件。For the women, they have two things. 一個就 personality. One is their personality. 一個兩嘅個性。Yeah, their personality. 呢度坐住嘅個性漸換損嘅指標。You have to marry a, a sister who is very submissive. Daddy. Second. Ability. A person of ability. A very able sister. If this woman has good personality, then your marriage life will be very blessed, happy. If your this sister has very good ability, she will be very helpful in your business. But she, however, she has very good ability, so she will be very helpful. If the woman has very good abilities, it's not easy for her to submit. So, so husbands, if your wife has good personality and is also very able, you have to thank God, and you have to treat me for a meal. But this man, personality. Ability to do very well, and this person David possesses very good personality and also ability at the same time. But David comes in some of Saul's attitude like Saul. However, he was very much willing also to submit to King Saul. Shang De, just to bring this to life, then David can be David a son of. And through this, God is training David in his humility and also his submission. The David is in, and before David, we can wait that the son of wait that the son of. There was a very、um, pep, a great a prophet and also judge named Samuel. Samuel, 虽然就是奉上的 Samuel started serving the Lord when he was still very young. And the Bible says, 同同主 Samuel 的以利的头前侍奉耶和华 The boy Samuel ministered before the Lord under Eli. This seems to be a very simple sentence. But it is actually not a simple one. However, this is actually not a simple one. Because Eli, this priest, is a very careless priest. Because this priest, Eli, is an old priest and also a very careless priest. Because this priest, Eli, is an old priest and also a very careless priest. Because this priest, Eli, is an old priest and also a very careless priest. 
God even uh, told Samuel that one day I'm going to take away Eli. 